What's going on, everybody? You gotta have these videos. I don't know when they're coming out, to be honest. So, hopefully you're having a good day. If it's the weekend, you've enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm not too sure what days these are coming out because I've been just posting videos away. Um, today, SGC. I will say this. SGC graded this. They got it on a Wednesday and it was shipped back out to me on a Friday. Today is really Thursday. I don't know what day the video is uh, coming out and stuff, but... It should have been back to me Tuesday, but due to, I don't know, containers and stuff like that, there it finally just came, we'll say. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It was four cards. Uh, vintage, and, you know, stuff I want to use for shows, and it's been here a little bit too long, and I wasn't going to wait more for an $18 special uh, from PSA, and really with time frame just moving the cards, it made more sense spending 30 with STC because the values were close to PSA. And even at a $30 level, I wasn't too sure if I'd see it by the end of the year. But here we go. First up, 67 tops, Willie Mays. Most of you guys are going to be picking this up from the Lexington show. I figured it was going to be around a four, four and a half. We got it at four. Uh, I think value on this for VCP was a little over 100. It might have been 108 if I recall right. I'll have to look it back up. Pretty nice looking card. I think I might make this available on my slabs uh, just until the shows start rolling around. Up next, Duke Schneider. Oh, they didn't put this in a sleeve. I thought they were all in sleeves. They fooled me. They duped me. All right, Duke Schneider. And this came back a 4-2. I was leaning more towards that 4.5-5 on this, too. And a little bit off on grading my vintage, as you can see. But still happy with it. I mean, I got that in an auction for a dollar. A dollar. Picked this up for two dollars. Came back a five. Uh, the 63 Fleer Drysdale. Another nice piece just for shows. Um, a lot of people are starting to look for vintage. It goes in spurts. And I just don't have enough of it graded here to where I want to pull the shows. And up last, you guys remember this. I picked this one up. This was real recent. Salem, Indiana's card show. I had to think. Five on the second year, Bob Gibson. Again, this is a little uh, between the $100 and $110 mark. I picked this one up. Ooh, I think it was like for $25, maybe $30. I'll have to go back and look, but it wasn't much either. Really happy with what it turned out being a five. Looked really, really good. Um, I was leaning on a five on this. I had high hopes that maybe there was that one time it might come back a six and be worth a lot, lot more. But, hey, five will take it. So not bad. SGC, very, very quick on grading. I will still continue to use them on vintage because the turnaround time and the price points are really similar to PSA. Now, when you start getting up to, like, where the PSA is lower populated at, like your some sixes, some sevens, eights, nines, and up like that, You'll notice the big differences, and that's where the gamble comes into play. Do you hold it for PSA? Do you send it to SGC? So, for me, if the prices are comparable within 10%, and I can get it back quicker just to move it, it just makes sense that way. Otherwise, this would have went in on an $18 order if they would ever do one again. But, all right, pretty happy. Again, good job, SGC. I mean, literally, you guys got it on a Wednesday, and Friday morning, I had grades, and it shipped out. Impressive. Alright guys, take care. Have a good one. See you on the next one. PSA Reveal.